when uh, Courtney Michelle and I did a conversation, we had a whole stream about sex. One of the things that was brought up is this whole, um, how long should a man last in bed, mm -hmm. right? And there was a street interview that we referenced and the young lady said, well, if my stuff is good, he probably won't last long, mm -hmm. right? The counterintuitive truth there is a dude who's able to fuck you for two hours straight is either number one, getting so much sex that your shit don't really do nothing for him, or number two, your shit is dap, not wap. <laughs> what? Okay. So, and that's counterintuitive because we're taught that, you know, if it's good, he's going to want to stay in it, boom, boom, boom. So similarly, to bring it to what you're saying, a dude who is unconcerned with who other potential suitors are, and da, 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 either number one, he already has you locked down. What do you or mean locked down? He already has you locked, like he's already slept with you. He knows that no, you're going to no, wear, that's boom, not, boom, boom. We're not talking or, about, we're not talking about or, that. Or, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I'm talking about they're all suitors, right? Or I'm not sleeping with them. Sure. I'm sorry or, that some women don't have self control. That's sad. No, I that agree. A lot with of women you. out there. I agree with you. If you are a woman that's saying there's no way, that means you don't have self control over your okay. body. Okay. So, or like I said, or again, I think we're, for for the sake of this conversation, we're gonna assume I know niggas, right? I know men. I've been a niggas, and I know niggas. With that being said, that dude who doesn't care don't like you that much. No, I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree because okay. I, I know women who have dated and the man was didn't care. And that's their man. They got engaged to that person. Mm -hmm. um, they eventually married that person. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I, maybe it's just this YouTube thing. But like, we don't mm -hmm. deal with insecure men. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's an insecurity thing. And I'll stand on that. Um, I think, like I said, as long as you're not sleeping with people, um, you know, until you commit to that woman, you should be asking her questions of what she's doing on her downtime because she's not committed to you. If she's only known you for a week, you're not entitled to her entire life. That's not the point I'm making. I think you're missing the point I'm making. What like I said, like, like, like I said in the beginning, we're going to assume I know men a bit better than the average woman. And I know women. Sure. And right now we're talking about men and their motivations. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we're not talking about insecurity. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying to you is on the Mac, because we can all come up with anecdotal evidence to uh, reject whatever it is that we don't want to agree with. But on the macro, if a guy really does like you and really does want you, it will bother him if you are entertaining other men how if can it does like you that fast if if it does not because i'm again i'm speaking to a man who's actually done his due diligence on you as well so you're not just a random girl like he's done his own research so you're like you know what i'm saying this is somebody i really want to pursue seriously with that well, being said <laughs> if he is okay if he is okay with it and again i've been a dude it's either number one he doesn't really care about you. Or number two, he views you as a trophy. I don't agree because I've seen women okay. do that and they got married. I just said we can all come up with anecdotal experiences to negate anything. So I'm speaking on the macro because I'm sure there, there's examples that don't line up with what I'm saying. There, obviously. But on the macro, we can only speak in generalities because everybody's just, not Allen. Everybody's not The women that I know, the men are not asking them, who are you with? Yeah. Like... Like crazy territorial. I'm not, no, no, no. I'm, not I'm not talking I'm not talking about that. I'm talking behind the scenes. I'm talking about I'm trying to tell you what's going on in men's mind. And we but might not vocalize it, but I'm trying to tell you what's going on that behind go on the in scenes. Mind. When they first meet a woman, they want to sleep with her. Yes. Right. So what makes yes. a man look at a woman more than just something they want to sleep with? They what? Get to know her. So if a woman knows that you're only approaching me right now because you want to sleep with me. Right? You no, don't even like I'm, me. I'm yet. not I'm not talking I'm not talking about like he likes you just off the bat meeting you. I'm talking about y'all been talking for a while, you've got to know no, each other okay. a little bit. See, that's that's what, what I'm talking that's where about. You're losing me because I I clearly stated that if you are talking like, at what point wild, do you dismiss the other guys? Let, let's you, kind of figure it out. Right. At what point, yeah. Cause like that's what I'm saying, like a week, like what are you guys doing? No, if if I'm talking to a guy 
and we went on one date and the date went great. I'm going to be excited for the second date. And whoever I was talking to before him, and if we not really like on that level, like the pressure that he's putting on, I'm going to slowly fade away from them. Like, you know, and then as I go on the second date and he's letting me know that like maybe what I would say, it doesn't take that long for a man to know if he wants to be with you. Right. I, I say I give it about six weeks to eight weeks. That's when a man should know if he wants to be with you. So during those periods of y'all getting to know each other and he's really showing up, he's being consistent, he's hitting you up every day. Y'all is talking on the phone every day. Y'all seeing each other. He's planning dates. Anytime he talks about the future, he's adding you in it. That's a man you cannot risk losing for some dudes that y'all are just probably texting here and there and there. So have there's been, and, and, and it's just like, has there been a situation where two men at once are putting pressure you're gonna go with the man that you like the most and brush off the other ones until and then eventually they're gonna you know they're gonna go their own way they may still hit you up but you're not paying them no mind no attention anymore and and then i think by that eight that eighth week six week mark you should ask him hey what where are we going with this where I, I think women shouldn't be scared to ask, hey, where are we going with this? Um, you know, like, is it just me and you? Like, where, where, where are we going with this? And he'll let you know right then and there. I want you to be my woman. I want to be committed. That's when you don't play around anymore. Like, don't even, they should, they should be blocked at this point. Everybody should be blocked at this point. That's where I say. One of the things that I bring up a lot as far as, you know, why so many of our women are having such a hard time in dating these days is because um, a lot of our women, number one, they neglect the self-work and the understanding of self. And number two, and I think this is vital, they enter the relationship beginning stages in bad faith. Like they 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 enter it expecting things to go bad. So they feel this sense of having a backup plan, having an alternative. And again, that's OK if you don't want certain outcomes. But for the women who might be watching this, who might listen to this later, who want the outcome of monogamy, want the outcome of marriage, even um, the one at a time gets you to that better than the best man why are there so many women saying their time was wasted and they stayed too long trying to make something work because they really put all their eggs and invested mm -hmm. one thing a woman hates is mm -hmm. investing so much of her time in a man because y'all mm -hmm. telling us constantly if i've been with you for this amount of months mm -hmm. and i'm invested so much of my time one thing a woman hates is starting over mm -hmm. okay so to say that mm -hmm. But remember, the first thing I said is an Women understanding of long. herself. No, it's, it's the, the first thing I said was an understanding of herself and what it is that she needs. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. women, and I've said this before jokingly, women spend more time on a motherfucker's Instagram instead of his LinkedIn. So a lot of women, unfortunately, prioritize superficial aspects of masculinity because they barely understand femininity. So they don't know what to look for, or how to vet men. And that's why they end up spending and wasting so much time with shitty dudes. And later on, instead of taking some kind of accountability of the part they played in the toxicity and choosing mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. they would rather say, I'ma just switch up my tactic as opposed to getting to know myself better. Because again, not only have I participated in this, I've seen these things play out. The women who are just dating because it's fun and may the best man win. Typically, there are one offs, like you said, I agree with you. But typically that does not end well because that woman continues to obfuscate responsibility to every external factor outside of herself, as opposed to recognizing that I am the common denominator with each of these guys and all this time that I've wasted. You can use the same analogy with a job. You could use the same analogy with uh, religion even now with sex changes if you are unwilling to start with a deep and nuanced look at yourself it doesn't matter which path you go down it won't work hey if you've made it all the way to the end please click that like and subscribe button also share this with somebody that you think would gain value from it also shout out to our patreon executive producers and vip members make sure you head over to patreon to check out some exclusive content 
a lot more happens on Patreon that can happen on YouTube. So please uh, consider becoming a member there. Click the thumbnail at the top if you want the full video. Click the thumbnail at the bottom if you want a video that's closely related to this. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Check out some more of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.